there was a great post on Reddit from a professional graphics engineer. Uh, Odyssey renderer is broken. Um, the TLDR here is it's the software, not your hardware. Uh, the main issue is lack of culling, uh, which culling uh, is what allows the graphics card to skip rendering things that you can't see. So if you're in a room, stuff that's in the next room or down the hall or the, the NPC walking outside of the building that you can't even see. Uh, this graphics engineer pointed out um, a number of places where the game is just rendering entire sections of things around your character um, that obviously consumes its rendering power versus only rendering the things that you can see. And there was a number of other issues here. Um, if if you're if you're really interested at all in the in the real nitty gritty of what's going on and what he found, and it's pretty it's pretty incontrovertible incontrovertible because you look at the tools he used and these are like off the shelf professional tools that you can if you've got an Nvidia card you have access to as well, um, where it, it will give you code by code what the program is actually doing to the rendering. Uh, Kai, you had a comment? Yeah, I mean, so the bad thing that we take from this is. Why did they not do the sort of cleanup that everybody does with every game that's been released in the last decade? And I think the obvious answer is they did not have the time to do what they didn't have the time to finish the product that they sold us and they knew it. The good way of looking at this is with all of the people that are saying there's no way that we can do consoles. There's no way that this there's no way that older computers are going to run this. This is going to be broken forever. When you look at the fact that the massive frame rate dump is in stations and whatnot, and you look at the fact that they're basically rendering six to eight times what they need to, that's a very easy, okay, and not easy in the sense of like, oh, you can do it by just hitting a button, but you know, okay, if we work for three weeks or four weeks on one section of the code and get it optimized, we can make this so much sort of better. and and. I, I, that re reduces a lot of my fears for what they could do. Yeah, it doesn't seem like it's a mystery what the problem is. You know, when Elite first came out, it took a year. And even even with this being a known issue, um, what we don't know is how long it will take to sort of extricate this problem from all the different sections of the code and what that may or may not uh, affect as they do it. So. Um, yeah, as Kai mentioned, it's not easy. It's a known it's a known path they have to follow, maybe is the way to put it. It's probably still a fair bit of work to do. Um, but at least it's not a complete mystery what they need to do. Um, also in the forums, a uh, very interesting thread, Odyssey Optimization Performance and UI, Galaxy and System Map Feedback. So uh, I'm just going to read what they wrote here uh, from FDev. In this thread, we're looking specifically for feedback on the Galaxy and System Map UI, we've noted feedback on other UI elements, but would like to start with these in particular. If you have a feedback on the Galaxy and System Map and Odyssey, please leave it below in a reply using the following format. And then they give a very specific format uh, to follow. I read through uh, many, many pages of this, and I was actually surprised that there was many well thought out and reasonable responses. You know, for every every one post of 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 someone saying um you know uh you you guys suck you should have fixed this before why didn't you listen to us in alpha there was 20 more posts of people really following the format they gave um putting it in bullet points saying here's the three things that don't work and why they don't work and here's three solutions which um i was really pleased to see you know there's we could talk a lot about how they got here but Here's, here's a number of people pitching in to try to get us out of the problem. Um, however however bad we feel about how we got here or why we got here or how quickly we can get out of it. So I, I would, and I know there's a lot of opinions about the new Galaxy and System Map UI. I've got them too. Um, please take advantage of this feedback thread. Please follow the format they give. Um, you know, I've seen, I saw a few posts where people were sort of rambling for paragraphs and paragraphs. My guess is that they're going to read the ones first that follow the format, which is number one, give your overall thoughts, one or two sentences. Number two, talk about the specific issues in bullet points, be clear and concise. And then number three, suggest fixes for each of those issues, clear and concise, directly linked to the issues. I think the closer you follow that format, the better the information transfer is going to be between you and the developers 
who are presumably just trying to make this better. Um, I, I also wondered if maybe this was going to be followed up by requesting more structured feedback on other parts of Odyssey. Um, you know, it does beg the question, why didn't they use the feedback from the alpha? But this appears to be a much more focused way to get specific information about a specific thing. So maybe this is a better way to get the information to them. Uh, Will, you had a comment? Well, first off, that was one hell of a wind up, uh, you know, to, to pitch that. Uh, but yeah, you know, I think that, uh, you know, if, if we if we follow the format that they're asking for and, you know, limit the vitriol to, you know, Reddit or something, then I think that there's a better chance that we'll see, uh, you know, a system like this being implemented for other, uh, you know, other Odyssey elements. Um, you know, and, and another thing, too, if, uh, you know, for example, if you guys have figured out, I know that there was some confusion about whether or not there was functionality removed or whether or not the user interface, uh, you know, was just changed enough that we didn't know whether or not things were removed. Um, you know, I, I think that uh, getting some kind of baseline on some of the uh, more common complaints about, you know, things that seem to be missing, um, you know, that, that that'll cut down on a lot of the spam in the, uh, you know, in the forum. So, you know, maybe somebody could come up with a, a nice video, you know, explaining some of that stuff. Uh, certainly some opportunity for some informational dev diaries to explain, you know, what they're working on and what went wrong and how they're fixing it. 